hi guys welcome to salesforce troop and in this video we're gonna talk about the feature that gonna come in the spring 22 and before starting this topic to work on these all latest features we need a spring 22 pre-release developer org and if you don't have that org you can sign up i will share the link of the sign up page so once you sign up you'll get the access for the spring 22 developer org so back to the topic so the first feature that we're going to talk about is the lightning ui related list api and under this we have four types of wire adapters so the first wire adapter we're going to talk about in this video that is get related list count and all these features that i'm showing today or in the upcoming videos are in the beta so it's not available it's only available in the spring 22 pre-release org as of now so this feature get related list count gives uh, is a wire adapter and that gets the related list record count so suppose we have an account page and on account we have a related contact so i want to know for a particular account how many related contacts are there so i need that count so there we use this wire adapter so let's go to our vs code and let's see how it works so I am in my VS code. So first thing is to create the uh, Lightning Web component. Control Shift P and we'll search for create Lightning Web component. Select and we'll give the name as similar to the name of our wire adapter. So I'll say get related list count demo and the record and the component is ready. So first thing is we have to import the wire adapter. So we'll import that wire adapter and the name of the adapter is get related list count and it's available under lightning slash UI related list API. So now we have our adapter available and to call this adapter we need a service called wire service so we have to import the wire and we already know how wire service works so we'll say at wire that is decorator then we'll pass the adapter name and after that we'll pass the params so in this case First thing to get the count of the related list, first we have to tell from which record we have to get the related list, right? Related list count. The first parameter is parent record ID. This is the ID of the record. Basically, if we are if we want to get the related list of an account, so the, here this will be an account ID. So we can mention the ID of the parent record that you want to get related list for and then we want we'll give a comma and we want the second param as well and the second param is the related list so i because on a account page we have multiple related lists like cases opportunities contact but if i want a particular related list so we can mention it here so the second param is related list id this name is little confusing but this is the api name of the related list object so in our case let's say we want a context right so we want the con related list of the related list count of the context so i'll mention this the api name of of a related list object such as contacts opportunities etc so our wire service is in place now we have to decide whether to use a wire service as a property or a function i mostly prefer as a function because we can do a debugging in that case so here i'll say a list i'll give a method name list count handler and it will receive either error 
or data and as i'm using it as a function so here i'll say if data is available do this if error comes do this so if error comes we'll just console that error console dot error and we'll console that and if data comes we're going to let's for now we'll just console that data what data is coming so that we we will able to visualize it and only thing is missing right now is the record id and let's go to the r developer org and take out the pick up the account id so i am in my spring 22 org i'll go to accounts i'll click on particular account and i'll copy the url uh, copy the account id from the url and come back to my vs code and paste it here and now what i want is i want to deploy this but before that we have to set the meta file and make sure you change the api version to 54 and we'll make the is exposed to true we can set the targets like on which page we want to place this so i have copy paste here like i want this component to be visible on app page and record page but it's up to you where you want to place this component in this demo we're going to use app page only so we set the meta configuration now right click and deploy i already connected my vs code to my developer org so now it's deployed let's go to our developer org so i'm in my developer org i already created an app for spring features so here i already created a new tab a uh, new lightning page ui related list api let me zoom a little bit and let's edit the page and place our component here so we can see our component is coming on the left hand side let's drag to the first column and right now there is nothing on the screen as such and it's giving an error wire target property or a method through an error positioning date date is not defined i misspelled it that's all right i'll save this one as it is and then i'll go back and in the meantime we'll fix our spelling mistake right this should be data because here data is coming and in the meantime we can create a card itself on the screen so that something can be seen on the screen so we'll say create a lightning card and card take title and we can simply say get related list count demo and under this we're gonna create a div with the class we'll give the padding SLDS where padding around medium size medium is 16 pixel and we'll say div count of contacts and we'll just leave it as it is and redeploy it so now at least we able to see our card on the screen so I'll go back and refresh the page. Let me right click and inspect. Let's clear the cache. Sometime that card will not show. And we have to make sure whether our component is there on the screen or not. First we'll see if anything comes on the screen. Yes, the card is coming. It was a caching issue and now we'll go to the console because on in console we were printing something so i'll come to the console and there is you can see on the right hand side let me zoom this a little bit on the right hand side you can see our file name and here it printed something under the proxy and to view that we can go to 
right see where our data is it's printing something we should be able to see if not we can put the json dot stringify on the screen on the console basically so we'll come here and say json dot stringify our data and let's deploy it again and it's deployed let's go back and refresh the screen so now you can see that it printed the json so let me copy this clear and paste it again and now we will try to visualize what kind of data is coming okay so as i mentioned that this adapter is used to get the related list record count so the count is coming as one and list reference is coming like the parent object api name is account and the related list id is the context and the number of related contact on the account page is one and let's go and verify it so i'll go to accounts quickly and we have copied the account id of berlin textile corp and here on the related tab we'll go and see how many contacts are there so we have only one contact that's why it's coming one contact just to verify it let's create another contact quickly so and let's save this and now we have two contacts let's go back to our app and refresh the page now the count should be two if our logic and our api is working perfectly our wire adapter working perfectly the count should be two so the now count is coming to right so let's print this count on our screen let's go back to our vs code and let's first store the data so here we'll say we'll create a property called like related data initially it will be empty and once the data comes we'll say this dot related data and it coming under the property all count we can store the complete data as it is into the related data and we'll go back to our html and we'll say related data dot count or we can see the text number of contacts on an account related list account but there may be a delay in fetching the data so this will be an undefined so to avoid an error we can wrap this up with the directive if true so we'll say if the value is there inside the related data then only show this on the screen otherwise it will throw an error because the undefined dot count is an error so let's go and test this out so the same thing we can work for here we have mentioned contacts we can mention cases opportunities anything okay, and this is one of the simplest adapter let's go and see on the screen if count two is coming or not close this and now you can see number of contacts in account related list is two so we have verified already here on account related list there are two contacts so our wire adapter is working perfectly and we have verified it here so that's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.